Hello, and today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a shade selection for an anterior composite. You can see from this case, uh, this young girl came in and she had chipped her front two teeth, and we were trying to determine what shade we're going to use. So when you can see this example, we held up two different shade guides, both A1 and A2, using the uh, Aesthetics Shade Guide and the Aesthetics Composite Kit. And it almost looks like the A1 shade is a little bit too light, and perhaps the A2 is about the right color, but maybe a little bit too dark. So what shade do, do we go with? Well, an easier way to tell is to actually just take a dab of composite and actually put it on the teeth. And now you can see tooth number 8 has a dab of A1, and uh, number 9 has a dab of A2. And also make the, the shade... Uh, tab that I put on there, the, uh, the actual composite, uh, make it have a little ramp to it. Don't just make it like a, like a mound or a dome on it. Actually make um, a ramp so it gets thin, like on the incisal edge, but then it gets thicker as you go up towards the mid-facial part of the tooth. That way you can see how this uh, composite color will, will play out uh, when it's thin versus when it's uh, thicker. So then once we determine that A1 was indeed the right shade for this, this case, went ahead and prepped the teeth and I do what's called, I call it a, like a taco shell design. You can see I extended the prep onto the facial uh, leaving some of that mid inner part uh, to lay the composite you know up against and then on the backs on the lingual in this photograph it's kind of hard to tell but uh, I actually wrapped the composite around to kind of cup or to to grab a hold of the lingual side of that composite. I'm sorry of the tooth with the composite. And then what I'll do is I'll take one, um, one composite, or I'm sorry, one tooth, and just add composite to it. And you can see in this example, uh, I went ahead and added uh, the A1 to tooth number eight. I actually think after this photo, I realized I needed a little bit more in the uh, mesial and sizal corner, so I added some more to kind of reinforce that. Um, and just making sure that the shade is correct. And I'm going to get number eight completely finished and polished, and then I'll move on and do tooth number nine. And now you can see in the final photo, um, the final case is, is put together. This took probably 30, maybe 40 minutes uh, to do. Went ahead and gave this patient anesthetic because as we're, uh, of course, drilling on the teeth and, and putting uh, the matrix band in place underneath the gum line, it's just much more comfortable for the patient to be numb during that part of the procedure. And then you can look at the final, the before and the after. Um, and that's just a simple cosmetic uh, fix. Now this young lady, she's been told to take it easy with these front uh, composites uh, that as time goes on she may have to have them replaced and that she will, may very well wind up with veneers at some point down the road. She is probably, gosh I don't have the chart in front of me but I think she's about 15, 16 years old so she has a while to go. We want to do the most conservative treatment at this point and then if, if um, these composites don't hold up then we'll switch over to, uh, to veneers. And then if uh, we need to come back later and then maybe perhaps smooth the incisal edges or, or round that mesial incisal corner, we can. But at this point, you know, I decided to hand her the mirror and ask her what she thought. She absolutely loved it. And so it's at that point we say, good, then we're done. Um, and then she was on her way. So the take-home message from this video is when doing composites to don't just rely upon shade tabs, but instead actually squirt some composite on the tooth, cure it, and make your final determination. Um, and then to do one tooth first, and then do the other tooth second. Hopefully this has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Thanks.